All right, this is just going to be a short video. I uh, just want to quickly show off uh, something I picked up recently, um, which helps when, uh, well, another way of spawning in aircraft, uh, just say cap aircraft, um, if you want to keep the guys on cap busy and it's quiet and you just want to spawn in aircraft. Now, in the past, I've shown how to, or in previous videos, how to set that up on a radio item to spawn a flight in. So let's quickly set that up again. Um, we've got a MiG-29. I'm going to see him at 30,000. And give him some weapons. At a waypoint. Oops. And another one here. And we're going to make this waypoint. Add task orbit racetrack so he goes between the two points like I've shown before and 450 speed at 30,000 and put a scope condition on that of oh, 5 miles <laughs> alright so that's a uh, plane down um, put him on late activation so I can spawn him in and on a trigger um, these I've just got set up from the previous uh, mission I was doing uh, mission go. I'm just going to put another radio item here. Uh, radio item for coalition blue. And I'm going to call this cap spawn flag one one. Uh, actually, I need that flag three because I've already used uh, flag two uh, for that one. So flag three. So when I go into the mission, I just need a new trigger now. Mig. Mog MIG 29 spawn new. We're going to do flag is true 3. So that's the one I'm activating and group activate. I didn't actually name him, which I should always do first up MIG 29. So there's the trigger. It's going to spawn in MiG-29. So let's quickly show that off for anyone that hasn't watched the other videos. Let's go to the F10 menu, speed up time a bit. All right, so I've got my menu item pop up, pop up F10 menu, and it's got cap spawn there. And then hit that going to spawn in that MiG-29. It's activated the flag for it. So I've got a spawn. Now I can do that on like two or three extra menu items depending on how many cap on or spawn in. Um, trouble is you might need those other slots for other things in the mission uh, not just for cap. Um, now there should be a, a, like another page you can go to. I've seen it. I think you need to use a script to actually have the, the one of these actually give you another set of um, F1 or F2 keys and all that. But at this stage, I can't do that. I don't use scripts and I only got about, I think, six or seven other options here before I run out. So what I want to do is use this cap spawn because I can't use it again to spawn anything more or respawn anything. Um, what I want to do is set it up so I can do that without using any scripts. So just a way around it without getting into all the complication. Well, it's probably not complicated scripts. But I just haven't uh, got around to learning it and some people just starting out probably will be... Um, put them off a bit. So I just want to do it all pretty simply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this. Actually, first of all, what I'm going to do is copy paste. Let's say one. Let's say we want four extra cap throughout the mission. I can do, I think, about up to 100. But I'm just going to do four to keep it simple and save time. And let's make this one a MiG-25, say. Give him some weapons. 
It's not a very good MiG-25. Let's do that one. Um, and have him say 15,000 feet to break it up. Uh, this one here, I'll give, uh, what is, how about we do an SU-27. I should put all these excellent. It's good to have them on excellent, I think. That's a lot of weapons. SU-27 uh, has a lot of firepower. Let's put that at 28,000, say. Um, let's just switch these to excellent while we're here. I might use this in the next mission. We'll see. Um, all right. So next one here. What do we got left? Say MiG twenty one. Do I use MiG twenty one? Do another one. Even if I did, I can't remember MiG twenty one. Give him some weapons. All right. And all the waypoints are copied paste, so I don't need to set them. I just need to shift them around. So how about we keep? Waypoint one here, waypoint one can go there, and then it'll orbit this way, and this guy can orbit this way. Maybe you can come in wider, or coming in from Russia, say. All right, so I've got my group set up. Now, if I go to my trigger, now when this, I press this, I need to add another trigger in. I'm gonna move it up one. I call this MIG spawn. I mean cap spawn. And I'm going to make this one a switch condition. Um, in that I'm going to put flag is true 3. So when I activate flag 3 on that radio item, it's going to activate this trigger. And I'm going to put in here a new one called flag set random value and I'm gonna do flag 4 because it's the next one on the list now like I said you can do up to 100 random values to spawn planes in I've only got four so I'm gonna do one to whoops one two four so what that is it's going to do a set flag 4 but it's going to set and add a random value between 1 and 4. Now, when I spawn in the flag, instead of going flag is true 3, I'm going to do a new one here as well called flag equals. And we had flag 4 for the switch condition, so flag 4 came on, and I'm going to put this as value 1. And it's going to activate the MIG. So if that value comes up as the random value between 1 and 4 is a 1, the MIG-29 is going to spawn. So what I need to do now is clone 4 more and just change that. You can probably make it easier to type uh, that in. You don't really have to write it as clear as me, but uh, you can just add a 1 or something to it to make sure to distinguish. But um, I shall write it all out. So flag eagles, this one I'm going to bump up one. So it's value 2 and then I'm going to put the SUs in on that one. Next one uh, was the 25s I think. Bump that one up to 3. And lucky last, mid 21s bump that up to 4. So that's going to pick a random value and spawn those in. Or one of those in. Now it's only going to do that once though because flag is on, it's going to set a random value and just do it once. So what I need to do to have it used multiple times is set one more action in this switch condition so when that flag 3 is true it's going to turn flag 4 on and what I also want to do is turn flag off number 3 
So it's going to set a random value, it's going to spawn in the group on that random value, and then it's going to turn that flag back off, and I'll be able to use it again. So hopefully that made sense. So radio items activates flag 3, flag 3 is true, this uh, con um, trigger the switch condition trigger and then it's going to set a random value between 1 and 4 and then turn the flag back off and then these are going to spawn in. Now the downside of this which you can probably get um, by um, get around by using scripts but we're not using scripts so the downside is when I do spawn in one of these and it sets a random value it's going to be between 1 and 4 so if one of these have come in it's not going to spawn it again. Now I could probably do it with triggers, I haven't got that worked it out yet, but if there's a way to do it just without scripts and triggers there, I'll update this, but at the moment you'll have one um, or a few once you get, uh, when, you, when you've got a few more in, that the random value is going to be a value that you've already spawned in, so you'll have a misfire basically. <laughs> so eventually you'll spawn them all in, but you might not miss it. So if you're in the mission yourself as the mission maker and you've hit that um, trigger on the radio menu, you basically got to either go off um, like the calls or the radio or the RWR that's come on or just listen to the cap when they say they've got a target pop up or the AWACS and just monitor that to find out if you've got it. So you'll have to hit it and be a bit patient. See if anything's happening. If nothing's happening, then there's a good bet. Hasn't spawned in, you can hit it again. So there is a downside to it, but let's see it in action. Fly mission. And it's just a handy way to save a few slots on that menu. So we're back in. Go to the F10, we'll speed it up. Till my F10 menu comes on, there it is, F10. All right, so we're gonna hit the cap spawn. And there he is, thought he didn't spawn in for a second. It chose the MiG-29, which I think was my A4. Next one will be hopefully one that's not number four. <laughs> MiG-29s have come in. And the more, like I said, the more you go up, the more chance you'll have as a misfire. And I've landed on one of the other values, so it's all worked out pretty well so far. Another one. Well, I nailed it all. I got all four up. Um, randomly. Uh, by just using this uh, menu here and just using the triggers. Uh, rather than any um, scripting. So... Once I get into uh, the more advanced stuff, I will put that up, but at the moment I don't know enough, so where am I going here? Quit. That's a little trick to get around using it without or being fancy. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.